All right, what's up guys? We're here at Sugar Creek Disc Golf Course. I've got the brand new Zero Gravity stuff from Latitude 64. We'll be playing with a Pure, a Fuse, a Saint, an Explorer. And then I have an Opto Air Fuse we may break out on some holes. Hole one, 300 feet, 120 gram fuse. Let's get it underway. Oh, that's putting. My only issue with the lightweight discs is they're really hard to putt with, but the fuse did get us a birdie look here. Oh, that pure is so much more stable than you'd expect it to be. Hole two, 250. This is an amazing opportunity to show you guys how beefcake the 120 pure is. Actually, I think it's the right disc for the job. That's... Oh, worst kick of all time, but absolutely perfect line. 120 pure beefcake. All right, Grant broke his finger, so he's going lefty. He's going to show us how the lefty 120 Explorer goes. Uh oh, 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 kick, right. kick. Center fairway, baby. Let's get it. Fairway, let's go. Grant had to go lefty on video, so I'll I'll do one lefty. Just so. Oh. I think I tore my tricep, but that was actually pretty good. That was actually pretty good. I'm gonna throw one more. All right, 120 Explorer. Should Heiser flip to perfection? Oh! That's that's in range. She's putting. Flex this beefcake. Oh, it's so stable. Anyone who buys that zero gravity pier is gonna be shocked at how stable it actually is. All right, hole four, we need a big turnover, 300 feet left to right moving shot. Oh, oh that, is, that is so sick. The Saint got us another look here. We need to find a way to score with the pure. I'm gonna aim a little more right. There it is, come on. Oh, so close. We'll dial it in. I swear we'll dial it in. All right, let's see. I'm terrible at rollers, but I think we can get the Saint to roll. I mean, it's a roller, but it's a, it's a flip, flip. 120 Saint, perfect roller disc. All right, then we can go straight at the bucket with the beefy Explorer. Oh, New York Yankees are in town. Yikes. This pier is so stable, I have no fear forehanding it up there for the par putt. Look at that little, little baby flex. All right, now's the time where we knock down this uh, death putt, hopefully. Soaking wet, pure. Yes! That's a big par, big par. Dialing in the pure. Comment below, do you guys think this basket is too high? This is a very controversial basket in Charlotte. A lot of people have a lot of bad things to say about it, but I don't know what you guys have to say about it. Comment below. Pole six, 300 foot, par three. We got the 120 fuse here. Late flip. Come on, get in there. A little short, but that's a putt. We got the Explorer here. I'm gonna go, this is Heiser flip straight at it. Turn it. No. That thing flips up just enough. That would complement an overstable max weight Explorer really well. All right, we got another circle's edge look with the Explorer here. Aim slightly right. Oh, that's a little too right. That pier is hard to dial in. It's so stable. The Explorer straighter. Pull seven, 350. We're gonna go with the super late flip, Saint. Oh, it wants to flip so fast. All right, explore. We can trust it a little bit more. Oh, 
All right, we kicked forward, circle two, look for birdie. Well, I don't know what's going on here, but we've caution taped off this basket. So I'm gonna not putt here, see on the next one. Hole eight is probably too far for me, 365. Just gonna give everything I got with the Explorer here. Oh, that's everything I got. She turned, she held the turn. All right, we're in a potentially problematic spot here. We're gonna have to really use the overstable pure. I mean, I snapped the heck out of that thing and it just full on flexes. Hole nine, got a bit of a headwind, 330. This is the true test of the Explorer. Haven't birdied yet. This is our last hole, need to get a birdie. Ah. Can't quite hold up to a headwind. I need my, uh, I need my beefy 150 gram fuse. I know I can trust this one. If you need beef, just get the 150 gram fuse. Absolute beefcake. All right, guys, that's nine holes with these zero gravity discs from Latitude 64. It's one of those things, they're super fun to have at least one in the bag. I think the lightweight fuse is just absolute money, super flippy utility disc. I think the Explorer is really great for players with lower arm speed, juniors, um, any female players are really going to enjoy any of the zero gravity discs. I think the superstar of the bunch is this pure. This is actually something I would consider putting in my main bag for just dead straight tunnel shots. This thing is pretty stable for a pure. I've always liked the pure as a mold, but it didn't quite have the torque resistance and the trust required for me to really lean into it with confidence. But for some reason, the zero gravity pure, it's 129. This thing is pretty stable. It's really fun to throw and it's something I can see myself being really accurate with. So anyway, I think this is probably the all-star of the day, followed by the fuse would be my second favorite. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. You're watching Iceberg TV. Shout out to Power Grip USA. Use my discount code Iceberg10 to save 10% on their website. Use my code Ice20 over at BergsDiscSports.com to save 20% on any disc golf bag over on the site. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and take care.